Hi, I'm Jeff Elder with Avast, and I'm here with Lena Elias, Head of Product Delivery, and Martin Ron, a threat researcher who has done some work looking at child trackers. Martin, what did you find out? How big is this problem? And what kind of information was available through a, a privacy issue with these? Actually, we've tested a few trackers that are like commonly available on e-shops around the globe, mostly on like shops like Amazon, eBay. And we've been pretty concerned about the security of these devices because they are pretty cheap. So we try to found, find like what the security issues are. And the most uh, prominent, I would say, security issue is that there is a default password, uh, which is set across all the trackers. And as a username, um, there is the serial number of the tracker, which you can increment by one and get into all the accounts. And by doing that, you can access the location of the device. Even if the device has a camera, you can access the photos, you can send SMS messages through the device, and even make a call. So uh, weak username, password is, it comes with the weak password, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many of these devices did, had this issue? Uh, we did a quick scan of one million possible serial numbers, and we found out like 600,000 of these devices to have a default password. 600,000 child trackers, Lena Elias, on eBay and Amazon and other big stores. I'm going to ask you to wear your hat as a parent, mm -hmm. as a consumer. You hear about an issue like this. How big a problem is this? What can people do about it? I mean, as a parent, I would be very concerned, especially with you know uh, the end of the summer and kids going back to school. Parents are uh, thinking about, how is my child going to get to school? How are they going to get home? How will I know if I'm a working parent that my child reached home OK, that they reached their friend's house OK? Uh, so there is an expectation from a parent that you want to be able to track your child's location and see where they're going to be. But I also expect, as a parent, that only I have access to that data. And it was quite shocking for me to see uh, from Martin's research and, and with my own eyes, um, being able to hack into one of these devices and track a random child's location uh, on a map. Change hats. You are an executive in the cybersecurity world. You work with mobile devices. You work with IoT devices. How do we as an industry address vulnerabilities like this? Um, I mean, I think it really starts with um, education and awareness. So uh, from a company perspective, it's really our responsibility to educate consumers about the products that are out there and even the products that we are building that address, uh, address this concern. Those products need to be encrypted. They need to be secure. You want to make sure that uh, they have a password and a user ID that is your own and that you can easily change if you need to. Uh, so those are sort of the basics of, of what a uh, what, what one of these devices should have. On top of that, you want to make sure that you're getting a comprehensive solution. So it's not just about tracking location. Um, depending on the type of parent that you might be, you might, might want a little bit more control than uh, just having access to your child's location. You might want to be able to uh, set some limits on what your child can do on your phone, on their phones rather. Um, you know, maybe give them some downtime from the internet, be able to uh, create those healthy digital habits that uh, are so difficult to do without some of that control. And then also ensure that their devices are secure, right? So making sure that we're preventing malware, spyware on their devices. So those are sort of the things that um, I think as a company we need to be thinking about. Great solutions. Martin, taking a step back, how did you find this problem? Uh, actually, it was pretty easy. The first red flag uh, I've seen was basically the, the web page that manages all these trackers, which is like a portal. and. If you, if you look at the web page, it doesn't use any encryption, so it goes unencrypted over HTTP. That's usually the first red flag that there is some issue with security. So everything you type in, even the password, goes basically plain text unencrypted over the network so anyone can see it. Martin Ron, threat researcher, Lena Elias, head of product delivery at Avast, looking at child trackers trying to keep your family safe.